Today, you are going to learn how to make your own social media influencer with artificial intelligence. There's a good chance that you probably saw the story going around last year of the AI generated social media influencer, Itana Lopez, who is making $11,000 a month through brand promotion. That AI tech is now widely available to everyone through an application called RenderNet. RenderNet's an AI platform that allows you to create characters with extremely good consistency. But the best feature of the application is something that we're going to explore in the second half of the video. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the RenderNet website. The address is rendernet.ai, or you can just click the link that I'm going to put in the description of this video. Once you're here, you're going to want to sign up for a free account. You can do that by clicking the green create for free button in the middle of the screen. The free account will give you a chance to test out all the tools, and then you can decide if you'd like to subscribe for a month to really try them out. Once you've created your account logged in, you're going to come to this dashboard. This is where you're going to access all of the features of rendernet. On the dashboard, you can choose to jump into a popular character template, or you can scroll down and check out some of the creations from other members of the community. For our example, let's use the popular template of fitness model. When you get to this page, you can see that they filled in the initial prompt. A fit young woman, pink hair, standing in gym, wearing full gym clothes. You can choose to start from scratch here, or you can upload your own photo to start with. If you look on the left hand side of the screen here, you have the option to activate the feature face lock. What this allows you to do is take an existing image to use as a base for your influencer. This will tell RenderNet to create an image with similar features of the image that you gave it. I use Midjourney to generate this image of an Instagram influencer that I'm going to use with face lock. At the bottom of the screen, you have the prompt for the image that you would like to generate. I'm going to keep it the same, but I'm going to change the hair color from pink to blonde to match my image. When you're happy with your prompt, click generate. After about a minute or so, RenderNet will generate an image based on the photo of the influencer that you uploaded. Here's the first image that RenderNet generated. As you can see, the features match up very closely to the reference image that we used in FaceLock. This current template only utilizes one AI model, but we can add a few more through the model section on the left hand side. Click on this icon and you'll be able to choose from a bunch of different models to use in your image generations. Let's try Epic Realism, Cyber Realistic, and Any Merge. Now before we generate again, let's take the first image that we created and use that in Facelock instead. You can do that by simply clicking on the image and then clicking on Facelock. Now it's going to take the face from the first image that you generated and use that as a reference image instead. I've actually found this increases the overall consistency of all the photos that you generate. Now let's generate a few more images from the other models that we activated. Here are the new photos based on the face that we used from our first generation. As you can see, the other models create slightly different pictures, but the face stays very similar to our reference image. For example, this image here is from the Animerge model. It has a slightly anime look to it, but it still resembles the influencer that we want to create. If you want to check what model is used for a photo, click the image and you'll be able to see it right here. As you may have noticed, there are some issues with the images such as the extra hand on this model and the bar passing through the hand on this one. These are generally unavoidable when it comes to image generation, but as the overall tech improves, it's going to happen much less. These can generally be overcome by creating more images and then picking and choosing the ones that you like the best. Now that we've created our influencer, let's use the change it feature to change one of the images that we generated. You can access the change it feature by clicking the change it icon on the left hand side. On the screen, let's choose one of the images that we generated. Click on the image and then select change it. As you can see, it appeared over here as the image that we're going to make changes to. For this prompt, we're going to change our model's hair from blonde to black. Click in the what to change section here and type hair. Now in the change to section below, let's change it to black hair. Something to note is that you can only change one element from the photo at a time. So if you'd like to change the color of the clothes or anything else, you'll have to do that in another prompt. Now click the change it button below to generate the altered image. And here is our updated image. As you can see, it did exactly what we asked for and changed our model's hair from blonde to black without changing anything else in the photo. The last feature in this video is actually the one I like the best. But before we get to that, 
If you're enjoying this AI tutorial and you'd like to see more videos about new AI tools, I would very much appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. That's enough shilling my channel. Let's get to what I feel is the best feature of RenderNet, which is ControlNet. ControlNet lets you place your influencer in a pose from another photo. To access it, click on the ControlNet icon on the left hand side. When you're in this section, click the ControlNet toggle to turn it on. Now you want to add the photo that has the pose that you would like to use. I'm going to add this one. Another thing you want to do is make sure that face lock is turned on with the image that you would like to reference. Click the image that we changed and then click face lock. Now that that is turned on, scroll down and you'll have the option to choose the control mode. You'll have three options that will determine what is prioritized. The prompt that you have typed, the pose, or balance of both. Balanced generally seems to work the best. Then you can choose resize mode. Let's go with crop and resize as that's always seemed to work the best for me. For the prompt, let's change it to a fit young woman, black hair, in a gym, wearing full gym clothes. Here are the images that we generated based on our reference image in ControlNet. As you can see, the pose is exactly like the one we used in our reference image. Now let's use a reference image that will focus more on our influencer's pose and face. This is the image that we're going to use. The only change we're going to make to our prompt is to change wearing full gym clothes to wearing gray sweater. Here are the results. It gave our influencer the same pose, the gray sweater, and actually took away the glasses from the reference image since we didn't place them in the prompt. If you want to try out RenderNet, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Thank you for watching.